This model kit review is of the 1967 Shelby GT350 and uh, this was designed by Carol Shelby and then was taken over as the, by Ford and this is a 125th scale model uh, by AMT and uh, here's another drawing of it and this is a re-release by Round 2 models and uh, some of the uh, features of this model car and here are the uh, parts needed so I was going to build an Eleanor the gone in 60 seconds car from another version of this uh, Shelby GT350 they actually use a GT500 and then modified it but uh, the the reason why I decided to use this one is because uh, it would require less, uh, less body work and so um, these parts here will have uh, the same vents, same with the back here um, and then the headlights in the front which I'll show you on um, the box but this is uh, fairly well molded. We do have a few little mold lines here. Otherwise, good amount of detail. I'll do some extra plastic sticking out there. And we have got some chrome parts for our headlights. Looks like probably our exhaust tips here. Here we've got our um, valve covers, we've got side mirrors. We have got brakes and bumpers and wheels. I don't really like this chrome, so we're going to have to uh, modify that and repaint it. Here's our, our rear lights and our uh, got some more headlights covers and our windshields. Those are reasonably well molded. We've got our tires, also some nice tread on there. And some nice uh, molding on the sides. Uh, these next two sprues here, we have our seats and the rear of the seats. We've got the rear seats uh, for the back. We've got our dashboard and pedal box attached. Steering wheel, steering, uh, steering column there. We've got our hood with built-in wires. Uh, here we have our front bumper and grill, and uh, the Eleanor from the movie Gone in 60 Seconds had uh, lights here. Uh, we have some more body parts. Here's our spoiler for the tail. Got some more parts for the brakes and wheel hubs, and uh, here we have a radiator. We've got some suspension parts, more suspension parts here, and wheel hubs over there. These uh, last screws here, we have our door sides. We have our chassis with engine mount in the front here. And here's our cockpit. We do have some ejector pin areas there. Next we have our exhausts here uh, with our muffler. And then these are the uh, body panels here that get stuck on the side. These are supposed to be uh, like vents for cooling and to make it look cool. Uh, here's our rear axle with rear differential, our drive shaft, our rear shock absorbers, the old school style. We've got a whole bunch of engine parts here. Here's our main block and transmission. Here's our oil pan and um, exhaust manifold. And then here's our wheels. Here are the wheels. So, um, looks like lots of detail there. We've got instructions in two languages. That's Spanish. Uh, actually three languages, that's French, and we have our decals. So, let's have a look over here. 
at these decals. Man, those are very nicely printed decals. Good quality. I'm going to look at instructions here. So we're going to start off over here with our engine block. Build the engine block there. And transmission goes on. Then we put our suspensions, suspension parts on there. Then our rear suspension, axle, and drive shaft, as well as the exhaust go on. Next, we put our uh, cockpit parts and mount the engine. We'll finish up the cockpit there. And uh, our dashboard and steering assembly goes on. Next, we put our body parts together with the windshield and then mount that to our chassis. And we put our hood on, the uh, lights and uh, bumper. Next, the rear body parts go on, and then the wheels. So, here's the uh, painting and decal guide. So, looking at the uh, Eleonora, or the Eleanor, uh, Eleanor had these uh, extra lights in the front here. They also had this little scoop here for the engine. They had these uh, vents back uh, here as well. And uh, that should say GT500 though, that's the difference. And uh, that we'll have to paint on. That's going to be difficult. Uh, or we might need to find out how to make our own decals.